Hey everybody, this is John Simmons with the Simmons Realty Team. Welcome back to our video blog and today we're going to talk about homestead exemptions. But before we start discussing that, Okay, homestead exemptions. The primary purpose of this is to show you how to apply for a homestead exemption. However, I just want to make sure we understand what it actually is. So when you buy a house in Florida and you are a permanent resident, meaning that you don't live here for just two or three months out of the year, when you're a permanent resident and you buy a house in Florida, you get a homestead exemption and it's based off your assessed value of your taxes. So roughly, if you bought a $500,000 house and it was assessed at $500,000, with the homestead exemption, it'd be roughly assessed at four hundred and fifty. dollars It's not an exact number, but for this video, it's, it's close. And on something like that, you would roughly save about $68 a month in taxes, or you would reduce your tax amount by $68 a month. With that being said, it's important that you apply for your homestead exemption. If you buy a house in 2017, your homestead does not kick in to 2018. Okay? That's important. And you have to apply for a homestead exemption in the year that you bought the house up to the following year of March 1st, 2018. So again, if I bought a house in 2017, I would have to March 1st of 2018 to apply for a homestead exemption. I'm going to show you how to go about doing this. First thing you're going to do is go to Palm Beach uh, Property County, excuse me, Palm Beach County Property Appraisers. Okay, go into your browser and search for Palm Beach County Property Appraiser, and that is pbcgov.com forward slash papa p a p a. Okay, so if you're looking at the screen right here, you click on the home button, and you're in the Palm Beach County Property Appraisers. From here, you scroll down and you're going to go file for an exemption. Click on that, you have file for exemption. So you have three things that you can do. You can file, you can e-file directly on the website, you complete the application online, or you can mail it in. I would prefer to e-file it. So over here, you click on e-file. Once you click on the e-file, it will give you some a, a brief description of what you're going to have to do, but as you scroll down, you see to begin the process right here. So we begin the, the filing process, and this is where it shows you the guidelines in order to get that homestead exemption. So you need your Florida driver's license, you need a social security number, you need a Florida re a vehicle registration, um, a Palm Beach County voter ID with a Florida address on it, proof of, permanent re proof of permanent residency if you're not a U.S. citizen, and recorded deed. Recorded deed, you'd get that from the title company, would send that to you when you close. Again, all these documents are required to show that you're a permanent resident. Once you have all those documents, you click a PIN request, you put it in, and you're done. It's just that simple. And I would check out the website as well because there's also other exemptions if you're in the military, uh, maybe you're a, fire, a fireman or a policeman. There's all sorts of other little exemptions that you could possibly get as well. So that's how you go and file your homestead exemption. And remember, you buy in 2017, you have the 2018, March 1st of 2018 to apply for it. All right? If you have any questions, feel free to give me a shout, 561-662-7358. Again, my name is John Simmons. I'm with the Simmons Realty Team. And guys, if you're thinking about selling or buying real estate, give us a call. At least give us a call and find out what we're all about. I hope this helps you guys out. Have a great day. And uh, Halloween's coming up. Lots of fun. Take care. Bye-bye.